So the UFL is going to kick off at the end of the month. And for those of you that might not be familiar with the UFL, it's the combination of the two spring leagues of the USFL and the XFL. I made videos in the past ranking each league's respective team uniforms, but now we're going to go into a bit of a combination of the two on this one. We'll be looking at which team has the best threads coming from each league, but you take about half of them out. Some opinions have changed since last year in my old videos, and some have stayed the same. But I don't have much else to say, so let's get right into the rankings. Coming in last place and at 8th place, we have the Memphis Showboats. So these uniforms have aged not very well in my eyes. I was super high on them when they first came out and when I made the first video about the USFL uniforms, but now I don't like them as much. The helmet's still one of the best in the league, but the jersey designs, yeah, it doesn't work. The big chunks of color on the shoulder pads don't really do it for me, so a follow up from Grace for the Showboats coming in at last place. Coming in at number 7, we have the Houston Roughnecks. The Roughnecks have a decent little uniform going on, but again, the chunk of color on the shoulders are not the best move. They look better than the showboats, but the concept is just not one that I'm big on. On top of that, the gradient numbers are not something I'm big on either. Uh, I liked them the first time, but now I don't. But they didn't completely butcher it like other teams have in the past, but they did do a little bit too much with their uniforms. The uniqueness of the helmet is what stands out to me with the Texas flag design, but other than that, these are just kind of an overdone look. At number 6, we have the San Antonio Brahmas. Now the Brahmas got a lot of flack from me for saying that the horns look stupid coming from the back of the helmet and pointing forward, but yet again, I have changed my opinion. They've since added the B on the back of the helmet at like the base of the horns, which makes it look a lot better. And of course, the cracked bone texture in the numbers is something that I like a lot, but goddamn does that yellow jersey suck. If it weren't for the home uniforms carrying, these could have easily been last place. At number five, the Michigan Panthers. So this is a team that I've had a bit of an opinion change with. I was shitting on the Panthers so bad for having an awful color scheme, but now I don't really think it's that bad. It's still not great, but I wouldn't call these uniforms ugly. They have a traditional style uniform with their stripe placement. I actually really like their away uniforms because they look super clean in game. But these are nothing crazy, not bad, not great, but they're good. And they're good enough for fifth place. At number four, the Arlington Renegades. The Renegades with their still shitty R logo on the helmet is back, but this time in fourth place. I love the powder blue combo for the home uniforms, but after seeing the helmet paired with the all white uniforms, I just don't think it meshes as well. Still a great color scheme that looks like it took inspiration from the Oilers, which sits them at a solid fourth place. Number three, the St. Louis Battlehawks. So these last three, you'll see that simplicity is really a winner for me. The Battlehawks uniforms are pretty simple, but you have some unique touches to go with their identity. They have a nice color scheme with the blue and silver, and the number font is a very military-esque style. Their helmets have the wings coming out from the face mask like Oregon or the Eagles uniforms. These are solid. At number two, we have the DC Defenders. The Defenders are another team who added some touches from their identity to go with a pretty basic design. The Defenders pull from the DC flag with the red and the white, and then the three stars from the flag are seen on the sleeves. They add hints of camo in their uniform, but like I said before in my older video, I usually think that the camo is a super cheesy thing to put on a uniform, but they pull it off really well because of how subtle it is. So the Defenders are a close second, but only one can be the best. Coming in at first place are the Birmingham Stallions. The two-time USFL champs are now a two-time uniform champ on my channel because these uniforms are just too damn good. It's hard to go wrong with red, gold, and white as your color scheme, and the Stallions don't try to do too much to take attention away from the scheme. Simple stripe pattern, simple number style, and the mixing in of the colors is just done right. I absolutely love the home uniforms, and the aways are also super clean. These are hands down my favorite uniforms. 
But that is going to be it for this video. Let me know what your favorite or your least favorite uniform is down in the comments below and get ready to see these uniforms in action here pretty soon. I may be making some content on this league depending on how entertaining it is or if I even consistently watch it. But that's all I have for you guys today. So until the next video, I'll see ya.